Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, printing one of these. So, very interesting. What are these, you might ask? Well, if you remember a while back on the Wanho, I uh, built a uh, LED light for the table based upon these lights uh, that I got off of eBay and to light it up. But one of the things, since there's no uh, cover on here or lens, it's kind of um, uh, not very diffuse and it's uh, kind of hard to see actually. So what I decided to do was use this uh, clear PET G to sort of create a, a Fenzel type lens, if you will. And uh, it's came out rather interesting. So let's take a quick look at this printing, um, doing a time lapse, and then we'll come back and I I'll show you a little bit more about it because this is a pretty interesting build. Because if you've been following along uh, with me and you you've done this build, this is a really nice addition. So let's do a time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. So welcome back from the time lapse. So uh, we have we have a cover on. I've printed a couple of them actually because one of the things I'm doing is I'm going to be using these um, LEDs for a couple different projects, including on the uh, uh, Da Vinci's and also my laser cutter, which is right over there. So very interesting design uh, because as I mentioned before when I did the other video on these, they have an adhesive back. And they're 12 volts, so because they're actually meant to replace uh, incandescent lights in cars and, and be behind a, a you know a, a lens structure inside of a car, etc. And so these are really great. Um, and again, you can't you can't beat the price, and you can kind of see the brightness back here. Actually, I'm gonna don't mind the bouncing a little bit. I'm gonna kind of tip things up so you can see it. Now it's it's a little bit hard to see on the camera because of the frequency of the light. Uh, however, in an actual person, the light is far more diffused with the cover on than with the cover off. So it, it lights up the bed a little bit more evenly, even though what you're seeing on the camera is still a lot of spot brightness because it is a very blue light um, that's coming off here rather than a redder light or, you know, mid-tone light. Anyways, um, one of the things, if I go back here, is I've, I've uh, put a notch in it. And I've designed it so it snaps on to the LEDs themselves, like that. So it, it holds itself in place, no gluing necessary. Um, the, the PET G is springy enough. And again, with the uh, sort of filaments, it acts, acts like sort of a Fenzel lens in uh, breaking it up. Um, you know, it might be a little stretch calling it like a Fenzel lens, but you kind of get the idea. Um, and so it does have a nice diffuse background, and again, you can stick it up. Now, this is also great if you want to use this in other applications, too. Like, I'm going to put these in the Da Vinci, and I'm going to put it in the laser printer. And it, it finishes off the uh, whole package, if you will. And again, uh, because of the wire harness down here, it gives the ability to, you know, again, mount it and then run it up through. Because, again, if you go back to the, the video that I did on the bracket around back... Um, you know, the wire comes out around the top, so uh, in short, it fits up in there sort of like this and does a pretty good job. So I'll put this uh, up on Thingiverse too, so it'll be up on Thingiverse. You can download it, print it out. Um, now, settings, I'll talk a little bit about settings for this. I did it, this is very thin. I did it with, uh, now this is a 0.5 head, so I did this at... Um, one uh, one millimeter shells, one millimeter shells, so very thin. Um, so if you're doing a point four, I would try. I would even try point eight, and, and then if point eight doesn't work, maybe go to one point two. So it's a multiple of of the head. I think one point two would be fine. Also, uh, however, again, I think I'm bringing it a little bit closer to the camera. How you can see how transparent this is. You can still see the uh, individual LEDs through this. So again, it's been a very cool project. And also, it's sort of it's been a practical project too, because again, you know, if you want to 
come up with this to put this in other applications and you need to shield the LEDs, again, this works out really, really good. So uh, this helped you out. Give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, hey, give it up a thumbs up anyway. Click that like button down below. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.